In the depths of the sky wanders light Silent in its journey through the endless night A Little Comet Chasers We have two bright comets in October and one of them is visible to the unaided eye. We'll go over how to see each of them from your latitude. As always, our predictions are for observers viewing from suburban slash country skies, unless otherwise noted. By the way, we also have a special video this month about the interstellar comet 3i Atlas. It's a different kind of video. What we did was to take everything we've been able to learn about 3i so far and wove it into a life story of the comet, told in the comet's own words. The story is immediately followed by a conversation about the science that the story is based on and how accurate that story is. It's our hope that people may enjoy this unique way of learning about where this comet came from and how it got to us. It turns out to be a pretty amazing journey. Our first comet is C2025 A6 Lemon. It was discovered in early January by the Mount Lemon Survey, located to the northeast of Tucson, Arizona. As with most comet discoveries, it was very faint and far from the sun. Initial projections were that it would achieve a modest magnitude of 10 at its brightest. It spent much of the spring off our radar, out of sight in the glare of the sun. When it reemerged in July, it contained a big surprise, appearing much brighter than expected. At first, we had no way of knowing if a temporary outburst had occurred or if it was brightening much more quickly than anticipated. It turned out that C2025 A6 continued to brighten in August, and in September, it began to look very nice in images. We now have enough data to predict how bright and how visible it will be in October. 2025 A6 begins the month in Lynx at magnitude 6.9. Look for a 13 arc minute coma and an 80 arc minute tail. The condensation is a diffuse spot in the coma center, moderately condensed. It should brighten rapidly, moving into Hercules by month's end. This comet is very likely to be visible to the unaided eye later this month, depending on your latitude. At first, Northern Hemisphere observers will be favored, but Southern Hemisphere observers will begin to see it at the end of the month and into November. From 40 degrees north, it will be easy and even obvious in binoculars for the entire month. It will be best in the mornings until the 13th, when it will be better in the evening sky. Even though it will be better in the mornings prior to the 13th, it will be observable in the evening starting on the 9th or so. It will be perceptible to the unaided eye from the evening of the 20th through the end of the month. The evenings of the 21st and the 22nd will be excellent nights to try to spot it, when it will be near the naked eye stars Rho and Epsilon Botus. From locations near the equator, it will be perceptible in binoculars for the entire month in the evenings, and it may be detectable to the naked eye starting on the evening of the 25th. From 30 degrees south, it won't be visible until the very end of the month. Beginning on the evening of the 28th, it should be an easy binocular target and perceptible to the unaided eye, continuing into early November. C-2025 R2 Swan was discovered by Vladimir Bazukli in Swan images on September 11th. It had escaped detection because it had been too close to the sun. Swan is an instrument on board the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO, spacecraft designed to observe the sun. It also captures comets that are very close to the sun. In October 2025, R2 is an evening comet perceptible in binoculars. As the month begins, it can be found low on the horizon near Mars, in Libra, at magnitude 6.4. Look for a 7.5 arc minute coma and a 1.5 degree tail. The condensation is a bright diffuse spot at the center of the coma. It should fade rapidly, moving higher into the sky and into Aquarius by month's end. Our algorithm does not predict that it will be detectable to the naked eye except maybe by expert observers from an excellent site at higher elevations. 
As seen from the Northern Hemisphere, it should be perceptible in binoculars on the evenings of October 8th through the 28th, and it should be easy from the 13th through the 22nd, the best period to observe it. From the equatorial regions, it should be easy from the 8th through the 24th and perceptible on other evenings. It should be easy in binoculars from the Southern Hemisphere in the evenings until October 25th, after which it should still be perceptible. Well, that's it for October. Check the Comet Chasing webpage for breaking news, and for those interested in 3i Atlas, don't forget to check out our special video. Clear skies and happy comet chasing.